Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We are at yet another hotel, um, but we're in Seattle, Washington. Uh, we got some big plans today. We're out of clothes, so we're all mishmash colors. But uh, let's get to it. Roll that intro. Ripping bangers. Drone bangers. Here's a banger. Ripping bangers. That's a banger. Welcome to episode two of Rippin' Bangers. We are in Seattle, like we said. Uh, plan is right now we're going to the ball game. We got the Mariners versus the Blue Jays today in town. Pretty overcast day, which is good. Good for photos. Um, the thing about today is, well, first off, if you haven't seen episode one, make sure you go check that out. We we're at Crater Lake National Park. Got some sick shots, sick location definitely recommend making the trip out there all right so today we're going to ballpark and the thing is ballparks you can't bring in fancy cameras so today is iPhone edition we're gonna be taking everything video photos all the bangers on the iPhone I don't even know what iPhone I have 13 Pro Max is that what it is I think that's what it is we got the three lenses we'll go over all that stuff later but let's get going need a Red Bull Let's get to the park. We made it in the gate to the game. To be honest with you, a lot more people here than I thought there would be. Beautiful day for a game. Uh, we're gonna find a beer. We're gonna find some food and we're gonna find our seats. We're gonna enjoy the first couple innings and then we're gonna get to work. Uh, watch these transitions. Put your food and beer in a little thing and you can still drink it as you walk. All right. So let's talk about your settings on your phone for your camera. So I do indeed have the Apple 13 Pro Max. So you're wanna gonna go into your settings and find your camera. So a few things to look at here. If you go into formats, make sure you have your Apple Pro Raw turned on. Um, that's just gonna give you the best quality picture with the most information. If you go to edit it later, it's gonna give you a smoother and better edit process. Um, your record mode, I do 4K 30 frames for my standard video recording. Um, that's just what I use. You can use whatever you want. Um, Slow-mo, 1080, 240, 120 is probably slow enough for most circumstances. Um, other than that, I like using my grid just because it helps with my framing a little bit. and I'm, I'm kind of a rule of thirds guy. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot else you need to do. Um, just ensure that Pro Raw is turned on. Like I said, it's going to help your editing. So if you go into your camera, here's obviously what you're working with. Uh, you can toggle the Raw on off in the top right. I keep live photo off because yeah, you can't shoot Raw with live photos on. Uh, as far as the focal length for your photos, um, the 1X according to the internet here is a 26 millimeter focal length. So that's your standard camera. Um, your wide angle 0.5 is a um, 13 millimeter and your telephoto 3X is 77 millimeters. I try not to do a lot of digital zoom just cause you're gonna lose a little bit of quality. 
um, with any of these modes. I don't use cinematic slow-mo time lapse a ton. Um, portrait mode I don't typically like using because the depth of field to me just seems a little artificial. I'm typically just in the regular photo and video mode. So now that your camera is set up, let's take some bangers. All right, so location number one, I didn't even have to leave my seat. So if you look up there by like all the press boxes, I'm a big fan. I think every stadium has some sort of little marquee like this. And uh, this one you can see is welcome to T-Mobile Park. What better place for our first banger so easy as this hit that number three zoom in nice and tight as we can frame it up nice and so for shot number two i venture to the outfield and something cool about this park they actually call it the pen there's a ton of standing room in the outfield um, great place just to hang out a general admission ticket it actually goes right up into the bullpens so as you can see we kind of have to fight through the netting a little bit on this one but that's fine i like how it gives like the kind of realistic look like you're actually a fan attending the game so i zoomed in i did end up using some digital zoom but as you can see it still looks pretty decent uh set my focus on the player and Next up, we have made our way to the left field foul pole. So we're going to get a shot right down the line here. Keep the foul pole in frame kind of as a leading line. Zoom in, did a little more digital zoom, but light. I, it affects it, but it's not really too bad. You still keep pretty good quality. I snap one off here first, which I didn't like because I wanted the runner to be in a more athletic stance. And there he goes. And... So my seats actually had access to this 200 level terrace club, which was essentially just a separate area with a couple extra food vendors and bars and stuff like that. So I went up there and I figured I should give a shout out to the people that make it happen at the ballpark. And I came across this guy. So, all right, bear with me on this one. I was trying to be discreet without just like obviously taking a picture of this guy, but there was this guy at this pizza stand in the concession area of this terrace level, and he was just having himself a day, serving up Zot with a smile to anyone and everyone who came by. So I was patiently waiting. As you can see, I went into portrait mode because I wanted to get him with a little bit of blurred background and I'm like nope not tight enough so I went to the three times telephoto mode and I'm hiding behind old Ken Griffey Jr. here and uh, wait for it trying to get my framing right and I'm just waiting for my opportunity to pounce There he is, and I had to be very patient. He was having a good time, but he was very busy. Pizza, six and a half out of ten, but this guy and I gotcha. For our last photo banger, we have made it back to our seats, and this one is a shout out to the boys in blue. This was just the officer that was, you know, in security right in front of the dugout where I was sitting, and they just happened to be on the radio, and I got like kind of a halfway nice little, I don't know if you want to call it action pick, right there. And 
last but not least, we can't forget about our video banger. I already put it in the video. If you noticed it, comment down below. All right, so you can kind of see my thought process here. I'm gonna wait for all these people to walk in my way, but my objective is, is here. So if you tap and hold on your phone, you can get that little focus box and you can see on the right side of it. Here we go, I'll show you here. You can adjust your highlights and shadows up and down. So what I wanted, what I wanted the foreground of the stands completely blacked out with the player in motion and throwing the pitch. And I don't know, I just liked it. I liked that look of the blacked out with the beautiful colors of the ballpark. And so that was our video banger. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for episode two of Rippin' Bangers. Uh, it was a great game. Mariners ended up winning by one on a two-run tank in the bottom of the eighth. Um, great game. Cool stadium. Great place to go with a bunch of people. Would highly recommend. I love it. iPhone, I think you guys would be surprised on how much you can actually do with it. I would never uh, replace one of my Sony cameras with it. Just the flexibility you get. It's not going to compare, but just something you got running around in your pocket you can definitely get some good shots and stuff with it so hope you enjoyed remember to subscribe hit that like button see you at the next one